Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about Microsoft Planner. Um, let's start and get right into it. The first thing is, what is Microsoft Planner? If you've used Asana, Monday.com, Trello, Google Keep, or other to-do tasks management application online, then Microsoft Planner would sound very familiar to you. It is a task management application by Microsoft. It is part of the Office 365 business applications suite, and it is available to customers who have the Microsoft 365 subscriptions of all kinds, um, available to small businesses, available to enterprises, and if you use Office 365, you might have already used it. There are different ways that you can use Microsoft Planner. Some people think it is only meant for teams, but um, in my opinion, it can be used for personal, for your own tasks as well as teams. So we'll get right into it, we'll switch to the main screen. This is how you access Microsoft Planner, first of all on the top left if you click on all applications you'll be able to find it on the list there, sometimes if you don't just click on all apps and it'll come up. So once you're there you can see the way that have Microsoft has presented the application is that it is a simple visual way to organize teamwork. And again, if you've used Trello or Asana, this is very similar. So I'm just going to skip this step here so I can get into the application. And as you can see, there has already been some plans created for me. So the first one is if we click on one of any of these plans just to take a look, you can see the way that the application is presented. It's very neat um, and it has the board, which is the main part where all the tasks have been organized into different columns. And then you've got the top there, you have the charts, which you can view the different tasks that you have in, in these charts. Um, these charts are not customizable, so you can't actually change them, but they're very useful and there's a good reason why they've been designed this way. On the top you can see also the schedule, so if you click there you can actually see all your tasks on a calendar. And this would be very useful if you're managing a team as part of a project and you want to use an alternative to monday.com for example, this would be a fantastic alternative. Um, if you click on the three buttons up there you can see more information. So. Um, Microsoft provides you a lot of integration with other parts of Office 365. For example, you can have a notebook related to this plan. Um, and I'll show you how you can create this plan and how you might be using it for your personal to-do list um, and also how you might be using it for a project, for example. So on here you can see you can add members within your organization to the plan. Um, you can also um, have the notebook which is linked to the plan which everybody can work on as well. You can copy the plan um, and you can also export the plan as a list of tasks to Excel as well. So if we go back to the board, um, this is all customizable. So if you scroll to the right, you can add a new bucket, um, a column that you can think. You can drag and drop the tasks between these columns as well. Um, and you'll be able to rename the columns as you wish on the top here. So it depends on the type of project. For example, um, if I'm going to create a plan for the purpose of, of managing my own tasks, I can create a new plan and I might just name it, say, my activities. Um, you can make it public, which means people can see the plan inside your organization. Public doesn't mean externally, it just means inside the organization. And people can also request to join the plan, or you can make it private where only when you add it. So I'm just going to make it private because I want to do my own tasks and I'm not going to share it with anybody. So I can organize my tasks, for example, with new tasks, and then I'll add a new bucket here and I'll just call it I'm working on it and then on this one I'll just call for example um, this one something like watching so it's tasks that I've delegated to other people that I'm just interested in watching say for example um, I'm in a new meeting and I want to create a task to record the meeting notes so I can say Monday meeting one and if I click that 
I'll be able to edit the task there. I can add the due date, say for example, to Monday, and I'll be able to also add information in here to put the notes of that meeting, for example. I can also add an attachment, put a link to a file from my computer or on SharePoint as I like, and once I've saved it, I'll be able to add comments to as well. On the right hand side here, you can see all the tags that you can add to the task, and these tags can be different types. For example, project, if I just add that there, and uh, I'll put something here like uh, personal, and so on and so forth. So you'll be able to add all of this information as you like to it. And once you're done with that, you can actually just mark it as complete as well. So you can just do that and you can mark the task as complete. The benefit of this one, Microsoft Planner over other apps as well, is the way you can view the board. You can actually go to filter where you can go into there and you can filter by different ways. You can have all the labels related to the project all the ones related to personal. So for example, this task, I change it and say this project task. I can actually go there and say to the system, please show me only the project tasks. So I won't actually be seeing any other tasks. Then I can move these up. I can move them, say I'm working on it. I can move it there. Um, if I have assigned it to somebody, I can just say I'm watching this task because it's getting done. So you can organize these buckets as you like. Um, these Obviously, as we mentioned, the labels provide you with another way, and then you have the filter here where you can actually filter by due date. You can also filter by priority. Choose the different labels that you want. Um, you can filter by bucket, and you can also filter by assignment. If all of these filters are not um, fast enough for you, sometimes your day is very busy and you have 150 tasks in it and you want to just filter by keywords, you can just type in, sorry, for example, meeting, and the meeting one will pop up there as well. So if I type in something else, it disappears because it can't find anything with these keywords. You can also change the grouping to be by label. So I can have all my project, personal, yellow, and green, and so on. I can do it by priority, and I can also do it by different buckets as I like. So it's a very flexible way. You can do it in, in certain ways and any way you like. And you'll be able to have this plan as say my activities, your personal plan, nobody has access to it, and you can use Planner to manage your own day to day. One of the benefits of this Microsoft Planner as well is the fact that it can also sync with Microsoft To Do, which is essentially the Outlook tasks, but inside Office 365. So if you're using the Outlook um, desktop application, the Outlook tasks are now Microsoft to do if you access them via the Office 365 Admin Center on the top here. So you click on all apps and then you can click there. And if you switch to Microsoft to do, we'll just find it now. There we go, it's called to do you'll be able to actually sync the tasks from Planner to this one. And that can happen via the settings as well if you want to. So add plan to Outlook Calendar and you can actually publish it and have that there. And that will be added to the calendar as well. So you can have all of that information there. Um, we click on report and just close that. You'll be able to see here that you have that information there on like meeting and, and so on. So you've got flexibility on how you can organize it. So you've got their Monday meeting one. So you can add these planner tasks to your daily calendar. And you can have this as your personal plan, but you can also have project plan and then you can switch between your personal calendar and this calendar as well. You can do it that way. Some people choose to just keep all their tasks in here because you can also download the mobile app on, on Mac. You can down, get a, the, the Microsoft to do on Planner. 
So on your iPad, your Android, you can just download this app and you can sync all these tasks as well. And you get very similar functionalities with the mobile app in terms of filtering, in terms of assignment and creating tasks. So it's extremely handy. Okay, um, I think these are the main features of Microsoft Planner. Um, it can be used for projects. Um, it can also be used for different types of tasks that you want to do for yourself on a day-to-day -day, if you're an employee, a, a project manager or something else. Um, and you can, as you can see here, this is for example a project, product launch project, where they have organized it for with the different types of tasks to do on track at risk and different block tasks with different people as well. And again, like I said, you can see you can group it by who it is assigned to. So you can take a quick snapshot of what are the late or overdue tasks. And then what you can say here, for example, group these tasks to the assigned to, and then let us say, filter them with the ones that have urgent priority, we've got nothing. Let's clear that. And then let us say, show us the ones that are at risk. So you can see the tasks that are at risk there with these two guys and you can follow up with them. So different ways you can play with this. Um, it can sometimes be handy during a very busy day where you want to do meetings. So you can actually add a new bucket, for example. So if I group it by buckets, I can add a new bucket here and I can call this meeting notes. And every time I get a meeting note, I can add it there, set a due date and assign it to myself or to somebody else. Um, and then say meeting one, and I'll be able to have that there to view today. Um, and then I will have it open there. Once I'm done with it, I can open it and I can add more information. One handy part if you have lengthy tasks is using a checklist here. So if you've got one task in the meeting, you know, you can say at person one, we'll do this task. And then at person two, we'll organize a meeting and so on. So you can do it that way. And this is a very handy way of doing it. So you can leave the meeting, come back when you're free, and then you can distribute these tasks to different people by clicking on the task and then what you can do is you can click on this one um, and you can actually make it a task so you can promote the to do checklist item into a task as well so that I click that that has become a task on its own and I can just bring it across here and say it's on track and I'm going to give it a nice label and say this is marketing for example and so on and so forth. So you're able to play around with this. There are more features. If you're interested in this video, please make a comment, like it, share it, and I'll be able to expand more. Thank you for listening.